So in this example, oops, I forgot. The first thing I do is make sure that my equation is set equal to 0. Okay? Does everybody agree with me that my equation is set equal to 0? Yeah. Now that it's set equal to 0, I, I can find out what is A, what is B, and what is C. A is the coefficient of my quadratic term, which is 16. B is the coefficient of my linear term, which is negative 56. And C is the coefficient of my constant, which is 49. Does everybody follow me? Yes. Every single time I see a mistake, I, it's almost always students don't do this step. It's just organizing the information. It's not really a mathematical step. It's a, it's a little bit. It takes two seconds to do it. But I'm telling you, it will help you out greatly. So remember, it's b squared minus 4 times a times c. So I need to take negative 56. Now remember, when you're entering in numbers for a variable, please always use parentheses. One, that reminds you that you just entered in that number, um, entered in that number for there. And then two, it also reminds you as far as the sign that that number is. That's negative 56 squared. If you type in your calculator negative 56 squared with no parentheses, you're going to get a negative value because the calculator does order of operations. Okay? So always make sure you put in parentheses, especially um, when you are um, dealing with negatives. So 56 squared, I typed it in my calculator, and I got 3,036. 3,000, wait, 136. Then I did negative 4 times 16 times 49, and I got a negative 3,136. So therefore, when I subtract those, I get 0. So I go back to that little notes that I wrote down, and I say, OK, so my discriminant has an equal value of 0. So if I was going to describe my, the number of the solutions, I would say 1 real. I should have told you guys this, but it's also 1 real rational solution. And there you go. That's it. Done. Fine.